So this is a quick blog post. I know I haven't made a lot for a while. Uh, I've got a new form of employment. Uh, it's a way on my first paycheck though. It's doing appointment setting again. And just in case you're not familiar with that, it's sort of like telemarketing except for one difference. Uh, there's no commitment on the phone. So, you know, the worst, I, I, I've actually figured out what it is that irks me about the whole industry. And not just that I'm annoying people. Uh, that's, can't be helped with business anyway. No, what I find is that it's the unrealistic world that you enter when you get into sales or sales related uh, things. Anything short of a uh, customer service oriented call center basically is unrealistic. They act like in an uncertain market uh, where it is a gamble just to get somebody who qualifies for what you're talking about on the phone to them. Uh, yeah, it's, that's a gamble. However, they act like that should be a certainty. They uh, don't often bring you on full time. You're basically a casual your entire time. You could be there for half a year, a whole year, if you last that long. Two years, I've heard of one person working that long in a uh, appointment setting role and you're still on as a, if marked as a casual, so you don't have many benefits. Uh, you basically live in a whole world where anything could slip you up. Someone on the phone could give you the wrong information without realizing it. That could invalidate uh, the bonuses or commission structure that you work towards. You could be basically doing any one of a thousand things and congratulations, you uh, have everything blown apart for you. And a lot of it isn't your fault. I know that from a die-hard salesman point of view, you should be able to say, well, you can circumvent a lot of this and, you know, a good attitude and, you know, being smart on the phones will get you around a lot of it. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Don't get me wrong. I get it. It still doesn't make it any easier and it's just the massive amounts of uncertainty. And if I wanted to make money on uncertainty, I should basically go into a casino. Actually, it'd be better odds if I went into a casino with a set amount of money, went up to a roulette table, and just kept betting on either black or red. Just, and any time you do lose, you put in enough money on the next bet to cover the last one. Eventually, you can break the bank, or so I've heard. So, yeah. It's not really fair, I suppose is the word. I don't know. Maybe this is what Derek Jensen meant when he's talking about toxic mimics. Anyhow, next to your time.